Hey everyone, today I'm gonna do a review of the Dry Bar Double Shot Round Brush Hair Dryer. So I've been wanting to try a round brush for a really long time just to see if it will work on my hair type. I think my hair type could be considered 4A and as you can see, it's been color treated. So I picked this up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It was $103 on sale. I can't remember how much the original price was. Um, if I find it, I'll leave it on the screen. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review it based on its functionality, how well it straightens and dries my hair, and if it's worth the, worth the cost. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then keep watching. When I blow dry my hair, I divide it into six sections. It's important to protect your hair from heat styling, so I'm applying a heat protectant. The one I'm using today is by Bryogeo. I also use a little hair oil to add moisture and shine, and it helps with the comb out process. I have natural hair that I've been wearing straight lately, so my coils are a little looser than normal, not as tight. The products I used are Oribe shampoo and conditioner, as I am leave-in conditioner, Bryogeo Farewell Frizz heat protectant, and a little jojoba oil. After I comb out each section, I braid it so that it doesn't dry up before I can blow dry it. The more damp my hair remains, the easier it is to blow dry. So now I'm gonna get started on drying one section at a time, and I always start from the back. So here So the brush is combing through my hair very nicely. Um, it's not pulling, it's not tugging, it's not getting caught in my tangles, it's just gliding right through. The dryer isn't as hot as I thought it would be, and at one point I even checked to see if it was on the highest setting, and it was. That first section is looking pretty straight, so, so far, so good. We'll see how it does on a thicker part of my hair. Most of the time, I have to divide a section into two parts so that the hair dryer can comb through it more easily, but I didn't have to do that with this dryer. But since this dryer doesn't get as hot, that may be something that I do in the future to help it dry a little faster. And this section is looking pretty good too. Nice and straight. So I'll finish drying the rest of my hair and see how it turns out. seems pretty straight I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my hair and then I'll sit down and I will share my thoughts all 
All right, so I flat ironed my hair and gotten ready for the day. And this is the final result. So now I'm gonna rate the hair dryer in terms of heat, straightening ability, comfort, and functionality. And then I'll give an overall value review. Is it worth it? So there are three settings for this hair dryer, cool, low, and high. The instructions say that cool is more of a styling feature. I use the high setting. The high setting is 1140 watts. So because it's only 1140 watts and my dryer that I usually use is about 1875 watts, that's the type of heat that I'm used to, it didn't seem like it dried my hair as fast as normal. So. It took 35 minutes to dry my hair, and it usually only takes 20 minutes with my old school Con Air hair dryer. So this is the hair dryer that I normally use. Very old school, right? So after drying each section, um, the roots still seemed like they were a bit damp, so then I'd have to go back through and make sure that my roots were dry. That added the additional 15 minutes onto my drying time. In the instructions, it does say that if you have extra thick or long hair, then it might be necessary to rough dry the hair with your regular blow dryer first um, before using this double shot dryer. But ain't nobody got time for that. I need my hair dry on the first time. I'm, I'm not going to go through and dry my hair with my regular dryer and then use this dryer. That defeats the whole purpose. So... Um, just be aware it does say that so if you have thick hair like I do um, This dryer will take a little longer to dry your hair if your hair isn't as thick then um, You might be okay with the heat setting So because this dryer doesn't get as hot as I would like it to get in terms of heat I would give it a rating of three in terms of straightness, I feel like this dryer didn't get my hair as straight as my regular dryer, um, especially in terms of the ends. I feel like I had to go over the ends a few times to get it as straight as I would like. Um, yeah, I mean, I, as you can see from the video, my hair is still a little poofy. I think it's usually not as poofy. Maybe that's the volumizing that the hair dryer does. So in terms of straightness, I would also give that category a three. Okay, comfort. So the dryer is designed, it has this middle part right here that's a little bit narrower than the outer handle. I found myself at first using the, the narrow part of the handle to dry my hair. Then after a while, my hand got kind of tired, so then I would... Um, move my hand down to the outer part and then it got tired again. So I found myself moving back and forth. Um, so it may not be comfortable if you are someone that has like hand issues like carpal tunnel or arthritis. Um, you may have a little bit of a problem with this dryer. Also the dial, the on and off switch is a little difficult to turn especially when your hands are wet when you're drying your hair and your hands are wet so i had to use a towel in order to turn it off and on during my drying process so in terms of actually drying my hair with the bristles and the little brushes in between um, that part was very comfortable the bristles are very soft didn't pull on my hair or anything didn't um, irritate my scalp so I really enjoyed that part. I was very surprised just because it's a change from using a traditional dryer to using a brush dryer. Didn't know how that would work on my hair type. Um, my hair type being um, 4A or kind of, you know, coily or, you know, easily tangled during the washing process. I was really pleased with the, with the way the brush worked. You know, that traditional dryer is something that I use or that was used on me since I was a little kid. Um, and you know, just the whole comb out process of African American hair when you're little um, it was a little traumatic for me. I mean, I, I, I guess I was a little tender headed or was I tender headed? 
I mean, because can you be tender headed when someone is pulling the dear life out of your hair while it's wet? I mean, that in itself is very, very uh, painful. So but that's a whole nother conversation. So in terms of comfort, um, because of the on and off switch being a little difficult to, to use and um, my hand getting tired during the drying process, I would also give this category a three. Okay, so for functionality, like I mentioned, the bristles were very, very soft. There was no pulling on my hair. I have very little hair fallout. As you can see, I just had kind of this little bit of handful of hair. Um, there was hardly any hair on the floor after I finished drying my hair. Usually with my traditional dryer, you know, I have hair all over the floor. Because the comb is so little, I tend to have a lot of breakage. So I was very pleased with this one that I didn't have, you know, very much breakage at all. Um, after the drying process, my hair was very soft, had lots of volume. Um, and then after I flat ironed it, I felt like it was like close to salon quality. So it was soft, like as you can see, you know, lots of volume. Usually after I uh, flat iron my hair, it's a little bit stiff, but you know, this actually has, you know, a little bit of volume. And like I said before, my hair is natural. I don't have a relaxer. Um, so yeah, it feels like I have a relaxer after the blow, blow drying and flat ironing process, but I don't. So in terms of functionality, I would give this a 5 just because I was pleasantly surprised by how well it glided through my hair. So my overall impressions of this dryer is that I did like it. I enjoyed how my hair turned out. I enjoyed the drying process. I wish it was a little bit hotter, like maybe at least 1400 watts. Um, in terms of value. Um, it's hard to say if it's worth it because some of the other categories like how hot it got, how comfortable it was, how straight it got my hair um, are not very high. I'm not sure that this um, hair dryer is valuable. I know there are cheaper alternatives out there. At the time of this video, this dryer is $155. So I'd recommend this dryer if you are willing to spend that amount of money on it. My next step is I'm going to review the Revlon One Step Dryer. It's $40 and then I will review it and I'll have a better understanding and I'll be able to decide if the dry bar one is worth it or not or if a $40 dryer can do the same thing, maybe better. So stay tuned for that video and thanks for watching.